Hey everybody, it's Lauren from It's the Kellys and today I am packing to go to French Polynesia. I will be headed to the islands of Tahiti, Morea, and Bora Bora for 12 days. I can take you with me. You can't fit in my carry-on, but you can subscribe and follow me on Instagram to get all of the updates and see all of the beautiful pictures. I also plan on doing a video to show you actually how cheap it was for me to get there. So stay tuned for that. So today I want you to pack with me. No surprise here, I am packing carry-on only. I am going to have one carry-on and one personal item and I'm going to show you guys every single thing that I am packing. But first we are going to go over the details of my trip to decide what to pack. We are going to go over the packing list that I made that you also have access to. And then of course we're gonna pack it. Now in my last video, I actually showed you guys all of the items in my capsule wardrobe that I am packing today. So when I pack those packing cubes and those items, I'm not gonna go over those in detail. If you're interested as to what is in the packing cubes, go watch that previous video and you can see all of the fashion and all of the thought process behind the capsule wardrobe. Tops, bottoms, dresses, undergarments, bathing suits, cover-ups, and all of the accessories. Also, I asked you guys in the community tab a little bit ago if you wanted me to show you what's in my personal item too and not just my carry-on, and it was a big unanimous yes. So once I pack the carry-on, I'm going to be packing my personal item as well. Now, I do these packing videos for you guys because I'm just so passionate about it. You know, there's enough anxiety with travel sometimes that I don't want packing to be the part that you're anxious about and that's what I find that it's really linked to. A lot of people overpack because they overthink and are very very anxious. That's why I make a packing list and then that's why I make these videos to show you guys that it can be easy and it can be enjoyable. All right so let's go over all of my details. My destination is French Polynesia. I am traveling solo. I have 12 days on four different islands and I have a 24-hour layover in San Francisco. So I do have to be mindful of all of that while I am packing. My clothing focus is really going to be swimsuits with casual day wear and dressier evening wear. My challenges for packing today are going to be that I do need to pack things for photo shoots and I do need to pack a ton of camera gear because I will be working and filming and editing while I'm there. And that does take up a lot of space. So you guys are lucky if you don't have to bring all of that with you. You can pack way more other stuff. The airlines that you're going to fly are going to be very important because they all have different restrictions. The airlines I'm going to be flying are Delta, Tahiti Air, Air Tahiti Nui, and Spirit. The bags I am packing in today are going to be my Calpac Luca Softshell Carry-On and my Nomad Lane Bento Bag version 4. Both of these are very new to me. I have not traveled with them but I have reviewed both of them recently, so if you're interested in in-depth review of either of those, go check it out. After this video though, we have to pack first. Now let's start by consulting my packing list. You can see here on my packing list that I have clothing, accessories, electronics, toiletries, plain bag, and important. Now, this may seem a little type A to you, but it really helps you stay organized and stress less when you're packing. As soon as I booked it, I started writing down all of the things that I thought I would need to bring. And then the more I thought about it, I'm like, oh wait, yeah, I should bring that. Okay, let me type it down. And then I just kept adding to it. Now that we have talked for a little bit, let's go ahead and start packing the carry-on and then stay tuned because we will pack the personal item. All right guys, here is the carry-on that we are going to be packing in. This is the Calpac Luca soft shelled carry-on. The reason I am using this is honestly because I want to try soft shell luggage for you guys. I pretty much have only traveled with hard luggage for my entire travel career to all seven continents and I saw this, I thought it was really cute. It's a lot smaller so it's really good on some of the airlines I'm going on and it's a little bit more lightweight. Let me show you how to pack it. 
Now, since this bag is soft, obviously you've just got a little bit of room to pack stuff in here and a lot of room to pack stuff in here. So you would think I would start with the packing cubes, which does make a lot of sense, but I'm actually gonna take some of the flatter items that I'm packing and really put them on the bottom. What I'm going to do is take this little microfiber towel and slip that in there. I have three Aloha bags, a zippered bag, which is great for a beach bag. It's also waterproof. Then I have the mid-sized pouch, really great to put wet bathing suits in. And I have this little tiny one as well. So what I'm gonna do is pack these in here and then I'm actually going to fold this over and pack it totally flat. Now we're going to move on to our packing cubes. I have this one that is full of my capsule wardrobe clothes. And this is a really cool packing cube because you have separation. I have the tops on the top and the bottoms on the bottom. And this one here is the perfect size to fit in your carry-on bag. And it's from Trip Travel Gear. So you always want your biggest packing cube to go on the bottom of gravity. Now we have our other packing cube that has all of our swimsuits and undergarments and cover-ups. That is going to go right on top right there. I do have a tripod and this is something that you guys don't necessarily have to pack, but I do. Now I do have this little bucket hat. It actually can pack pretty flat, so I'm going to put that underneath the packing cube. I have this little flat fabric little envelope that I like to pack my jewelry in and I have my little mask for snorkeling. If I wanna snorkel super early in the morning before any of the shops open, I have this. And then this part you guys are probably gonna laugh at me about, but I do wear some hair extensions sometimes to have a really fun little ponytail, and it really takes up no space at all. Slick back your hair, put a fake ponytail in, look a little bit more glamorous. Now, I have my toiletries bag. Obviously, you're going to have your liquid toiletries that are going to be separate, and that's going to go in your personal item. But this is my toiletries bag from Trip to Travel Gear. It is small, but it does still hang. Now, I will show you everything that's in here while I'm on my trip because I do plan on doing a what's in my toiletries bag video and creating a look for you guys. I do have my little crossbody bag that does double as a sling bag and this packs a little bit more flat and that is why I chose this one. It is also just a nice simple beige so it matches everything. So this is everything that's going in this section. So we're gonna go ahead and buckle it in and then we can compress it down. This is a little bit higher than this part, so we're going to be mindful of that when we're packing the top. I am going to pack my flip-flops. I'm gonna set them in just like this because like I said, we have a little bit more room here than we do here. Now what I'm going to pack in here are going to be my bug wipes in there. And then I have my little baggie of all of my hair flowers, which aren't necessary, but I absolutely love. This is a lot flatter than these here. And there you have it. So let's go ahead and close it. Now, if you guys saw my review of this bag, you do know that it is technically a pro bag, which means it opens here and can fit a laptop. Now, I could pack my laptop in here, but I usually don't when it comes to pro bags. Public service announcement, you guys. PSA, real quick. If you travel with a pro bag, always bring a personal item that can fit your laptop just in case. If they are going to check your bag, you do not want your laptop thrown around like this when they're putting it in the bottom of the plane. My laptop will be coming with me, but it's gonna go in my personal item. Now, I could totally still utilize these pockets. They do have this nice little pocket here and this other little pocket here, but I am bringing the best personal item that I've ever owned and it has so many pockets. Let's go pack that. This is the bento bag version four from Nomad Lane. So we are going to fit all of this stuff into this bag. First, let's start with these cool little pockets that we have on top. They come with their own little pouches. This is one for liquids and these are all of the liquids that I'm bringing. 
if you're interested to see what is in this bag. I did do a liquids bag video a little bit ago. So these little pockets right here are made specifically for these pouches for easy grabs. Now this is supposed to be for electronics, but you guys, I'm a content creator. I travel with way too many electronics. So I used this as my plane bag. Basically in here is anything I'm going to need in the middle of my flight. I have a little eye mask, headphones, AirPods, my little Bluetooth air flies, chapstick, my new strips so that I can fall asleep on the plane, and I have my little bag of medication. And it can go right in that little pocket. Now let's go ahead and pack the inside of the bag. It does open like a suitcase. So this side here, it has the mesh is where those pockets that I just filled are. So you're gonna have this much space to pack items. What I like to do is obviously pack things that are going to fit, right? But also things that I don't necessarily need on the plane. So I'm gonna put my GoPro bag in there. Obviously I'm packing my GoPro because I'm gonna be snorkeling. And then this is just a little bag I have of everything that I need for my computer. So that is going to go right in here, perfect little fit. And then this is what I have all of my camera batteries and chargers in, and this is fairly thin, so it's just gonna go right on top. Now, I do have two books that I'm going to read on this trip. I could have packed a Kindle, I guess, but I don't know, I like having these books. So I'm gonna go ahead and read this one on the plane. So I'm gonna put that in my easy access pocket and this one I am going to put here. In order to access this pocket, you have to open up the entire thing. So that's why I have those items in there because I don't need them while I'm in flight. But this pocket here, you will have easy access to and I'll show you that after we pack it. These are going to be things that I might want in flight. My electronics bag, then I'm going to have that book that I probably will read on the plane. And then I do have my prescription glasses and my prescription sunglasses. Always fly with glasses and not contacts. And then when you do get off the plane and it's sunny, put those on without switching over to contacts. So I do travel with both of them in here. And then this is my one full of regular sunglasses and I just wanted to put this in here because it fits better. And that's basically it for this easy access side. So we can go ahead and close this. Now this is the spot for your laptop and my laptop is a 13 inch MacBook Air but it can fit up to a 16 inch laptop. And then we are going to utilize the other pockets for everything else. This front pocket here, I am going to go ahead and put my portable charger. In this pocket, there is a nice little key leash. I'm not bringing any keys with me because Brian is dropping me off at the airport. So I'm going to put my little travel wallet right attached to this. And this is going to have my credit cards, my debit cards, and my US dollars, and my foreign currency. Now, for this sneaky little spot in the back, they do have this little hidden pocket, and that's where I'm going to put my passport and my phone. You can barely even tell that it's in there. This is my little tripod for the camera we are currently using right now, so it does belong in the personal item, but with the camera, and usually I hold my camera while I travel because I do film on planes and airports, so that's probably not gonna go actually in the bag. However, we do have room if we are forced to put it in there for some reason. And then we do have my water bottle. This water bottle is from July, everyone always asks. And this bag has a little water bottle pouch and I can put it right here. Now I might actually leave this water bottle at home and use a collapsible water bottle instead so that it doesn't really take up that much space. So I haven't completely decided on that yet. Plus a lot of flights give you drinks. Now, of course, we can go ahead and put the strap on and there you go. It's a crossbody. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for packing with me for French Polynesia. I can't wait to take you on the trip with me. You're not going to fit in those bags. They're totally full, but you can follow everything on Instagram until I upload videos when I get back. I will be showing you as much as I possibly can. I also plan on doing a video showing you exactly how much I spent and it's really not a lot at all. You can go to Bora Bora on a budget. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. I gotta go get on a plane.
Bye.